Anthony wants out of Ajax. He's so much pleased with the proposal that United has gone ahead to put on his table either for you. And a bid of Cody Gapko is on its way in at PSV from Manchester United. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to go into the lower right bottom corner. Smash the subscription button for smashing it. Hit the notification bell that will enable you to get notified each and every time I upload a video into this channel in the Rock and David is my name and obviously I've already uploaded a video of Liverpool of United versus Liverpool match preview predicted lineup head to head and everything you need to know my prediction has already been made and if I really want to hear my view on what I think Liverpool versus United game is going to be like just go into the lower right that just go to the video section and see our recent video that I've just uploaded onto that channel it looks like the weekend is not going to be rosy for all the big teams. Chelsea lost 3-0 to Leeds. And today, right now, at the moment of recording, Man City is leading. Sorry, Man City is being led by Newcastle by three goals to one. You know that very well. A fixture or a result you wouldn't have, you wouldn't want to see if at all you are a Man City fan because a team like Arsenal is on top of the table looking to be having easy fixtures to go in through because Arsenal is playing two more games before it plays Man City, Manchester United at Old Trafford because that's the game that you will predict that maybe Arsenal is going to lose at Old Trafford, sorry, to lose at Old Trafford. But Man City is losing and they're trying to thrive back and City, they will get back to where they're supposed to be. But obviously, that and more on to Rokani Media Football. If at all you want to go in and really watch that, much reaction either for you go to rokani media football search for that channel you'll find more about other teams because this channel is strictly manchester united let's get into what we had to talk about in there that today first and foremost i want to bring you up to speed ajax has won against sparta by one goal to nil anthony again Haaland has made it two it's now three two man city three two Haaland has scored so ajax won one nil after winning one nil but the big story was that Anthony was not part of the squad. Obviously, it was confirmed to us that yesterday, by yesterday, that he never trained for the third day in a row and is pushing for him to join Manchester United. And today has not played. And his manager has come out and really said lots of things about Anthony. He has even gone ahead to say that United is not in the Champions League and Ajax in the Champions League. So, um, I'm, I'm just trying to find out why is the manager trying to really put a comparison of Ajax and Manchester United. Never compare Ajax and Manchester United. I don't underrate Ajax, but Ajax is a good team, but United is pub, is pub, is pub, is pub in the field. Ajax have to admit that they are selling team, and I see no reason as why the manager had me to go on and really throw throw shade at Manchester United. It, it, it was not required. It was unnecessary in the for you. Now, play to goal from German has told us, Negotiations between Ajax and Man United are ongoing. Talks still take place. Both clubs try to reach an agreement. Player side is awaiting. Anthony wants the move. Ten Hag is pushing for him. Obviously, we've known this. Even Fabrizio Roman has been letting us know. But I wanted to come in and clarify to you that the negotiations are taking place in between United and Ajax. And Plate Goal has also confirmed it. He's a reporter of Sky Sports and he is in Germany. He has confirmed that. Then we've been told by Gold Brazil that Anthony has imposed his desire in recent days and asked to be absent from activities and matches until there is a decision about his future. Have you heard? So, Anthony's absentia has been asked by him and his agent because he really believes that in this time, he needs to be out of Ajax training and games because he wants to focus on his next move and the only way he will really focus back on Ajax is when he doesn't really move to Manchester United obviously it's really going to be very hard because if United manage to put in an 80 million euro offer I know Ajax are really going to go in and agree with United if at all there are no positivity of this player going they would have already told uh, they would have already told Anthony you're going nowhere but obviously Ajax had already put Anthony on the selling list of players they are going to sell this summer. So there is no reason as to why they don't go on and really deliver what they promised to Anthony. Now, even Gold Brazil has continued to let us know that Anthony, Anthony has already made it clear to the Ajax board that he thinks about playing for Manchester United. So that's it. He's dreaming Manchester United. He wants to play for Manchester United. That is a man who goes by the names of Anthony. And obviously, he is going to push for this move until the last day. And obviously, the good thing is that United are willing to offer the amount of money that is being requested to by a side which goes by the names of Ajax. 
and they are planning to put in a new bid as i really told you a hundred million euro bid that's what united is planning to go on and really put up to it that by the end of next week or on tuesday or wednesday after the liverpool game anthony will be a manchester united player i have this in my mind one casemiro and anthony's announcement might take might happen either on tuesday or wednesday because they know that <clears throat> the only way you really reduce onto the pressure because obviously all of us know that liverpool are really ahead of us and they are really they are really ahead of us to win the game that is going to be played tomorrow at Old Trafford. So after that loss, what do you expect? All right, you expect United to go in and really announce Casemiro and Anthony to get the the what the, the funds back to where they're supposed to be in the for you. So that's what the board is going to do. But I know by Wednesday the Anthony deal is going to be done, and they want him to play for United as we play away at Southampton after playing Liverpool. So next weekend they expect. Anthony and Casemiro to be part of the United squad to play against Southampton in there for you. Update right now, Man City has scored its third goal. It's now 3-3 and I think it's Bernardo Silva. Oh my God, this game is really hard and Man City is coming back from two goals and they've now leveled. So it shows you that they might take off this game, but it shows you what a winning mentality is. So we need players with the right mentality like Anthony to come up and put up a fight for the manager because the players we're having at Manchester United are really retarded in mind and they need to be wiped up on the back. When you bring in Anthony, you bring in Cody Gapko, you bring in Casemiro, you bring in like all Dema Freeze, add them on the three that are already existing, those are seven players. Meaning that if at all you are having seven players, both the, the manager and they are really starting, you get that really gives us a different part of competition in this team because these players will come in and really put up a fight for the manager. So the only four that we believe are going to survive in the starting eleven of United are David De Gea, Diego Delo, you get um, Anton Martial and Sancho. The rest are going to go onto the bench according to me. That's what I really believe because I hope the overhaul is needed at United and obviously players like Anthony are needed at Manchester United. So Anthony is pushing for move of is pushing for move to join Manchester United. Then Laurie Whitwell, correspondent of Manchester United at the Athletic in the foyer told us that Anthony and his agents are pushing for Manchester United move in the foyer. Obviously that is known all over but has been confirmed by the correspondent of Manchester United at the Athletic and when a correspondent of United comes out and put out a story like this you just have to know that obviously and obviously he's being briefed by the club that the player wants to come and we are doing our needful to really see him come in here for you then the big story is that author Quezeda he, he he's really a correspondent for Sao Paulo has told us that Anthony is pleased with Manchester United's contract proposal obviously United have already made a proposal to a man of course by the names of Anthony and his representatives because his representatives were seen at the office of Manchester United I think towards towards the first towards the last week of July was it July I think the first week of August July August one of those towards the the last week of July or first week of August his representatives were seen in Manchester and they discussed everything and they're so much okay with the proposal meaning that the moment Ajax agree everything is going to be done Anthony will just be boarding the plane to Manchester to undergo his medical, get him the visa, then it starts playing because personal terms have been agreed. So that's something that is happening at Manchester United that Anthony is pleased with United's proposal or contract proposal at the moment. Obviously, if you had to look through, they're going to give him like £150,000 a week minimum according to me because he's earning like, is it eighty? 80,000 pounds at Ajax. So United will almost time would more, will multiply that salary by 2 to earn like 150 or 160,000 pounds a week. Obviously it will be a very good deal for him. And obviously I will believe that a lot of pressure is going to be on him obviously like Nicola Pepe, but I don't really think Nicola Pepe is really going that that you can compare Nicola Nicola Pepe Stalin to to a player who goes by names of Anthony. And secondly, the difference is Nicola Pepe came in at Arsenal when Unai Emery was the manager. He never knew him. He just went to fit him into his club, into his team. But right now, Anthony is coming in from Ajax, and he is going to play for his former manager at Ajax. Obviously, this manager knows him. 
knows him in and out so you expect lots of things to happen positively for anthony the manager knows how to create a situation for anthony to play better and obviously in the premier league when you look at how wide forwards are really playing anthony really has a space i think you can create space from himself because he's really good and talented and he knows that rafinha has made a very big move to barcelona obviously that guarantees him a spot into that traveling squad of brazil to qatar and if i told you anthony what do you do you have to push for a move to manchester united because when you're playing for manchester united obviously you're in the spotlight and everyone will be really chasing and really making it a point that you go in the way because you've also made a move to a big club because rafinha is in barcelona if you stay at ajax you might miss out on the world cup that's it but if I told you at Manchester United and you're playing in game in game out, he's really going to be having a very good team, a very good game in the face. So I really believe that. By the way, who is in trouble at Manchester United? It's people might say Sancho is in trouble. Sancho is not in trouble at any moment. Do you know why? Sancho is good also playing off the left, but Rashford has failed to hit the ground running at Manchester United ever since Ten Hag came in through under the Ragnik era. He was trash. So. We don't expect him to put in a shift and Sancho will go on and start from that side with Cody Gapko. So I really believe that the only player that is in trouble at Manchester United is Rashford. I don't know who do you think is in trouble, but I really believe that Sancho is okay. Sancho is okay. But I know Anthony will obviously make it straight into the starting eleven of Manchester United and the likes of Rashford will find their space anywhere else. Then Lord Whitwell from Manchester United, correspondent of United at the Athletic has told us that the expectation is that Ajax will demand 84 million pounds for Anthony. That is 100 million euros, obviously, but United are preparing a new proposal. 80 million euros guaranteed fee plus 20 million euros of add-ons. Obviously, as I told you yesterday, we are paying times to the amount of money are supposed to be playing for Anthony, but all that goes to the Glazers because they delay to go in and make that bid. They first requested for 60 million euros, United said no, you get. Then after, United went back with 60, I actually them want 80. But remember, they did all that when it was late. It was late. If at all they went in and put in 60 million euros at the beginning or mid-July, they would have gotten this guy early enough than now. That's it. They would have gotten him early enough than now. So 100% believe that we can go ahead and do the needful and really let this happen. And that story of of Ajax, of, of um, Anthony to Ajax, is really one of those that people are really wanting. But obviously, it's going to cost us 100 million euros, all 84, all 84 point what million pounds in there for you now gold brazil has gone ahead to break down this amount of money and why ajax is really so much wanting to milk money out of manchester united we are being told by gold brazil that sao paulo will receive 20 percent of everything that exceeds 15 million euros in united's proposal for anthony plus 2.7 percent trainer fee if united pay the 100 million euros they will receive 19.7 million euros so it shows how teams really make good business look at how much this team which goes up which the team which goes by the name of sao paulo is really going to make from this deal of from this deal from this deal of anthony to manchester united obviously 100 million euros is something that ajax won't turn down because you know that no team is going to get you that money and obviously you have to go in and pay this money and the player himself wants to leave the agent is pushing for the move and the united are willing to pay in there for you so when you look at that it shows you that we've been over we've been, we've been overcharged but obviously we've been overcharged because of the glazers if they went in early enough to get this deal done and dusted we wouldn't have reached this level guys we wouldn't have reached this level but we are this level reason being because anthony is one of those players that we wanted and we never went in early enough to get him because we had to complete this deal of anthony i think towards i think even after they had announced that ten hag is going to be an ex-permanent manager by the time Ten Hag played his last game, his last game for Ajax, United would have already put in their offer for Anthony. That's it. That would have been the case. But they didn't because they wanted to do this on the cheap. But after Sir Jim Ratcliffe coming in through, obviously, they've gone crazy, they've broken the bank, and they're willing to spend. Obviously, let them spend highly. I'm, I'm not bothered. The good thing is that one thing I earn from United is only the triumphs or the success that we really attain. But without success, what else do I have? We've been, we've been beaten two games in the row. So I have to be happy for these signings. But obviously, I have to be telling the Glazers, please, show me your back out of my team. You get? So today, you know that, I, you know that 
Anthony has not been part of the team of Ajax that has won Sparta by one goal to nil. Obviously, Bagwain has gone ahead to score and Bagwain has also come out and really said something about has gone ahead to say something about this game of this game of Sparta and why Anthony was away. Now, the Ajax manager Schroeder said Anthony is not in the squad. I spoke with him. I spoke with Anthony and told me that he didn't feel 100% ready to play. I only want players in the squad that 100% focused on Ajax. That is it. Then when I hate to let us know that I want Anthony to stay. I'm assuming that the club will not sell him. The money that is being thrown around these days is crazy, but I would not find it okay if we sell another player. We are in a powerful position financially. That's what it's saying in there for you. But obviously, but obviously, and obviously, that is what the manager is really saying. And when he really he will, he will, and when he was really asked about what does your feeling tell you with Anthony to stay, he said, yes, my feeling is good. I understand Anthony, but you play for Ajax. We are playing Champions League football. I don't think United are playing Champions League football in the face. So here, he really, he really poured water onto the first statements that we did made, according to me. Because if I told you really, if I told you really, meaning what you are saying, that Anthony doesn't want to go, you don't want to sell him, then why do you say that United is in the is not in the Champions League and you're in the Champions League because you being in the Champions League is nothing because you are not reputable to the level of Manchester United. That's it. And Ajax is a selling club. I'm asking myself, why is the manager of Ajax not understanding it that any player can be sold from Ajax? Any player can be sold from Ajax. This is the bitter fact of it. That's, that's something you have to know that you come to a club like Ajax, when you're having a player with the quality of Anthony, obviously, you know that he's leaving. And that's why you brought in Francesco Sesekao you know that Anton is leaving. That's why you brought in his replacement. So that has been reported by European Lad. And obviously, we are waiting to see how things are really going to happen in here onto this channel, which goes by names of United Matters channel. And lastly, Stephen Bagwin had this to say. Had this to say to NOS that Anthony, everyone has dreams. If it happens, then I wish him all the best. I would find it sad if he leaves. But like I said, everyone has dreams. Obviously, Bagwain was in the Premier League playing for Spurs. And Antonio Conte said, you don't fit the standards or match the standards of my team. And told him, get out, get out. And he got out. And that's why he's saying everyone has dreams. For him, it's okay being at Ajax. But for Anthony, he's not okay at being at Ajax. Maybe he'll return later. If at all, he tests the wrath of the Premier League. But if not that... He's not willing to come back, but that's what Bagwain said after that game. Remember, he's the one who scored that only goal that Ajax got to win that game by one goal to nil in there in Ajax. So, the last story is all about Cody Gapko, and it has been reported by Jason Bart, a chief football correspondent for the Daily Telegraph and the Sunday Telegraph. He's telling us that PSV want 38.2%. 0.2 million pounds, including add-ons for Cody Gapko. United hope a bid of 34 million pounds will succeed in the free, meaning that United are planning a bid for Cody Gapko. Sorry, I don't please place it on your screen. <coughs> Cody Gapko. United are planning to put in a bid of 34 million pounds for Cody Gapko, and I know that it's going to be accepted because 4 million pounds, 4, 5 million pounds of add-ons won't be something much for United because they are now spending stupidly because the glazers are afraid they're losing the club so they want to impress us but guys keep pressing the glazers out however much they do what don't admit because old monkeys don't change their tactics old monkeys don't change their tactics in the foyer but Cody Gapko to United is one of those deals that I'm anticipatingly waiting for to happen because he's really a very brilliant player and it will be good to have a player to compete with Marcus Rashford off that flank and a player who is really wanted by the manager and let's see how Rashford is going to react to this because most of the times ever since Rashford came into into the United team he has not been having a competitor he has not been having a competitor and has been a favorite for the manager you know that very well he has been a favorite he was a favorite for Mourinho he has been a favorite for for he has been a favorite for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and you saw his reaction when he is playing under a manager who doesn't rate him that is that is Rafranjnik. You saw what happened. He dropped off totally. So, if Cody Gapko comes in through, Rashford is going to be benched because he has failed to hit the ground running because he had a chance to prove to manager to prove the manager that, please, I'm really ready to take you through the season. But he doesn't. He didn't. The two games we played, 
Rashford is totally trash for. So guys, the Cody Gapco bid is going in and I'm 100% believing that next next week United is going to unveil three players. Harry Maguire, Cody Gapco and Anthony. I will believe these two players are going to be United these three players are going to be United players. Obviously, one has been already confirmed that is Casemiro even United have already announced him. We are waiting for the official unveiling and the signing him officially so your reactions to anthony wanting out of ajax and cody gapco 34 million bid are welcome into the comment section below i'm out see you later rock and david is my name remember to subscribe to this channel we are left with only 400 subscribers to hit 6,000 subscribers on this channel guys keep the fire burning keep hitting the notification bell keep hitting the subscription button and keep liking these videos of Rokani David that he does onto United Matters channel. But Man City has leveled. It's 3-3. Now let's wait and see where this game is going to end. But when you look at the quality of Newcastle and what they are really taking Man City through, it shows you that we need to improve a lot on our squad, obviously. And only Casemiro is not enough. We need another central defensive midfielder because when he gets an injury or he gets suspended because he has a good record of getting red cards. So you just find us back into the default mode again i'm out i'm waiting for your reactions i read them and maybe i respond to them and if at all i don't respond to you i sometimes really like the comments that really put up into the comment section below i'm out may the almighty god protect you abundantly it has been a sunday thanks to those that have gone to church and those that have not gone to church and have prayed from home thank you and those that have not played prayed may the almighty lord give you what you guys want especially the good things god will grant them to you i'm out